Hi everybody, this is Ray, this is Life and Vibe, and today I am back with another reaction to Glitter and Lasers and her most recent upload, which is called The Ultimate Guide to Stylish Plus Size Look for Valentine's Day. That was quite a mouthful. And uh, anyway, uh, a lot of people had fun uh, watching along with me as I reacted to her looks last time. She did get a little bit uh, sort of seemingly frustrated and a little bit teary-eyed towards the end of her last clothing haul and obviously as a healthcare provider I do always wonder you know and worry about how that affects somebody and their mental health and being so much out in the public. But anyway, um, she is wearing like Valentine's clothes. So, you know, I try to match along with these folks. And so I'm actually, you know, decided to put on a little bit of, you know, red on two and black like she has on spirit of the uh, video. And uh, I did want to say uh, as a cardiac nurse, like I'm going to keep this real fast. But uh, just for ladies, because that's probably most of my audience or anybody really, that February is Heart Health Month. And I do always want people to be uh, aware and taking care of their hearts. And specifically for women, some of the signs and symptoms that are a little bit different uh, from just the chest pain um, that people might have uh, when they're having a, an event that involves the heart. Uh, women have some things such as shortness of breath, nausea, vomiting, back or jaw pain might become apparent for women uh, and along with some of the other pressure and the left arm pain and you know some of the pinching inside the heart but those other symptoms are ones that are very specific to women and uh, ones that are often ignored or thought to be a sign or symptom of something else. So just, you know, be aware. So for wearing red this month, you know, I just always want to preface, that's from the American Heart Association. I will preface that link down below. And I just hope everybody is taking good care of their hearts this month, as I hope Miss Anna is here, Miss Glimmers and Lasers. Anyway, let me get into this because I don't want to talk too long and lose the audience. So let's just get into this reaction. I have seen nothing that she has wearing and I hope it's a little bit better uh, than last time. I think she looks a little bit happier. I don't know if it's any ad links in here. So let's take a look. there's two things you'll learn about me one i love a good theme and two i love a good holiday so for our first video in february okay. i'm going to exploit these two loves of mine and we're doing a valentine's day lookbook but we're doing it a little bit different i am sure there are plenty of outfits out there that are glamorous yeah. but you know what i'm single and i don't intend to be glam for the holiday but i do want to be comfortable and i do want to be cute so, here's some cute and comfortable Valentine's Day looks that anyone can rock. And guess what? Most of them aren't so themed that you could literally wear them anytime. So, I'm curious, outside of, you know, being in a classroom or maybe being an influencer who tries on clothes, would you wear a themed Valentine outfit if you're single? I mean, I know in certain cultures, for example, in Mexico, and this might be throughout Latin America and Spain, it's known as Dia de Amistad, and that is Friendship Day, and so that's a little bit more about, you know, friends, but this sort of like Hallmark look, <laughs> when you get older, I think it's okay when you're a child, I think it's okay if you're a grandma. I think it's okay if you're a school, t this is just my opinion, a school teacher, maybe a content creator. I just don't know how I feel about wearing just themed outfits throughout the year. I really don't tend to wear that unless it's a party and it's specifically for that. I just, 
you know, I don't know, drop your comments down below about how you feel about having themed outfits, you know, that's beyond just like, you know, going to a Halloween party or something. I don't know. I think it comes to a point as you get older. I feel like that's for uh, children a little bit more. Teachers, you know, I just, you know, I don't know. I'm not trying to be terrible, but maybe I am. <laughs> I don't know. Even as a nurse, I wasn't big on the theme stuff. Unless I had done pediatrics, and I wasn't. I was an adult nursing. Anyway. Anywhere. Which is the, the like, meaning of a good outfit. Okay. So see. with that, let's get into it. Recently, I found I don't myself I don't know about the really getting into like Western style dressing. Uh, I'm not exactly sure why. Maybe it's because I live in Texas, or maybe it's just like my style's changing as I age, as my body changes, as life changes. Whatever the reason, I find myself adding like Western wear touches to my outfits all the time now. So this looks really an homage to that. We've got a tiered denim skirt, which is just like quintessential Western wear style. And of course, white cowboy boots. I mean, they've been everywhere and now they're here in this lookbook. I've paired it with a really soft feminine top. I love the lace detailing on this and the bows on the shoulder. And this is a bodysuit, so it's gonna give us a nice line from the bodysuit into the skirt. Now, a look is not a look without accessories. So we did this girly crown. First, we added a couple of rose gold rings. I've been loving like dainty, mm -hmm. lightweight rings, and I found a lot of really good ones on Amazon. I have paired it with this cowboy hat link? with some rhinestone details because yes, I'm country Western, but I am still glam. I feel like I'm on the Dolly Parton spectrum of Western wear. And with it, I used this vintage coach purse that I actually inherited from my mother, but I felt just the white kind of tied everything together. Okay, I've just, okay, maybe I'm a little bit confused because it's still February and I feel this look is a little bit more for spring. I'm not saying, and it's it's not really my style. It's a little bit too flouncy for me. I wouldn't wear, honestly, I'm, I'm pairing like this today for <laughs> to, to match Miss, Miss Glitters and Lasers here, as I said, but I don't know. I didn't think that it doesn't, you know, I feel like we are going to still get snow here in Virginia. It's only the start of February. This is the time of year it gets really cold. And I feel this look is more for spring. I don't really feel like it's a Valentine look. I feel like, you know, the reds, maybe a darker pinks and blacks may keep to the season along with the theme. <laughs> Like the first look, if you had to, I mean, that that was fine. I just, you know, like I said, <laughs> anyway, let her keep going. I just, I think this is too springy. And I mean, the rings are cute. And also reference both the hat and on. the cowboy boots. Okay. Now for my earrings, again, I'm doing a little pop of white with these okay. kind of moonstone okay. uh, earrings with the gold rings. <laughs> and all in all, I just think this is a super cute Western inspired Valentine's Day look. I don't know about that. Now we have to name this look. And I am thinking, I think it's pretty obvious, honestly. Romantic thing. cowgirl. Because she's definitely Western, but she's also ready for Mr. Ray. Our next look is the other side of my aesthetic, which is pop and modern and funky. This twin set is just everything. It is bright stripes of two different shades of pink and it's cropped. So it's definitely going to show off my midriff, which I love. And I paired it with some chunky oh, lug loafers. And They're the reason right, I did that shoes. is that takes something that can feel, you know, very, very girly and just adds a little bit of edge to it. Now, this girl's a fashionista, so she's definitely going to carry that designer purse. So we have our Louis Vuitton in hot pink, which I think just has the coolest closure of any purse. Didn't she just say that she was trying to save money on the last video, that she was, like, watching her budget, and that's why she had the 99 new newly haul that it was brought her to tears? I don't know about this Barbie look at the moment. This is more to me a summer look. I feel like the seasons are not reflective to Valentine. I just, I'm not getting Valentine's. I'm sorry. I feel like I'm missing something. 
<laughs> I'm not a fan of the look. I don't know why. I feel like after a certain age, I don't know, maybe she's in her 20s. Like I said, I have no idea how, she, how old she is. But I just feel like there's a certain age where, you know, showing the midriff is just, you know, maybe, you know, we leave that to the young girls. <laughs> you guys, I don't really want to... I'm glad my midriff is not having to be shown except potentially on a beach if I wear a two-piece. I don't know about the stripy pink thing. I'm just getting, like, candy cane vibes over here. Sorry. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of this one for Valentine's. Okay, continue. First I own, so I had to show it off. Now, okay. we definitely need some jewelry, Ooh. as always. So oh, I added okay. my favorite ring, which is this rabbit okay. ring. I've okay. literally okay. had this ring. As a, as a nurse, I'm more fascinated with... Uh, the, the, no, I love the little ring. But she looked like she had really got her finger messed up. Now, maybe that's, you know, my fingers used to get like that in the cold in England, too. So maybe that's just from the cold in England. But she looked like her thumbs weren't doing, like, very well there. Interesting. Hmm, that ring's cute. I Over that. 15 years. In fact, I might replace it because it's seen better days. I also paired it with this really cool star ring. I love it because it reminds me to reach for the stars. It's simple, but it is a little bit more funky and fits the vibe of this outfit. Okay. Then I wanted to reference the white in the shoes a mm. little bit more since we are already referencing the pink in the bag. So I chose these like white kind of door knocker inspired earrings. Yeah. Oh. I really like them because again, they feel modern and they feel really crisp because they're just one solid color. And last but definitely not least, your girl had to, again, pull out the brands. And these are a pair of Versace sunglasses, though I'm sure you can find a very similar pair online for a lot less money. And I love that this look feels edgy, but it also feels very true to me. So this look needs a name. And Barbie is the first thing that comes to mind, but it feels... Uh, say, she said Barbie too. Say, uh, uh, this is my first time reacting, so I, I also feel Barbie. I like the uh, loafers. They would be very hard to keep clean, a, a pair of pink, uh, white loafers, though. They look like, like the Shelly loafers that I used to have back in the day. <laughs> that I coveted so much. I got some wild, like, yellow color or something. Uh, I'm not a... F I just, I don't know. Uh, for the season, I feel like we're still in the winter. Maybe it's different in Texas. I'm still here on the East Coast. It's a little bit chillier. So, I don't know. I feel like I'm getting summer vibes. Not, or even like late spring, Memorial Day. I'm getting Memorial Day vibes. I'm not getting Valentine. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's too obvious. So, I don't like the I'm going to go the other direction. And I'm going to go with yes. candy stripes. Because you get it? Like candy colored stripes. Now, it's Valentine's Day, and a lot of you are going to be getting some, which congrats to you. <laughs> Unfortunately, when I think about Valentine's Day, I think about self-love, right? Because I'm not dating anyone. Oh, well. So, I tend to buy myself a really nice pair of pajamas. So, this pair caught my eye. Oh, I that's love cute. the color combo. The red and pink is just, like, my favorite color combo of yeah, all time, so I, I could get it, not girl. resist. And I also I couldn't the resist going too. these really cute slippers with these oh, little furry are, balls. I oh, feel like they well, just bring cute, me so much that joy. Won't last, you know and what I mean? of course, a matching sleep mask because I love a good theme and I love to match. Now, I did put in a pair of earrings because if you're going to a Galentine's Day party or somewhere where you might be wearing pajamas but you're not necessarily sleeping, a good pair of earrings is essential. So I found these which kind of mirrored the pink in the pajamas and I think just made I'm going to give a couple of recommendations, you know, just as a girl to girl here, um, you know, you're cute. And I would suggest if you're going to get real close up on those earrings, just do a home, mic like a little bit of planing, you know, just to get the little fluffy hair out of the way, because it would show the earring, you know, you get probably better light to the earring, you know, because it has to diffuse the light across the, you know, I, and I promise you, it's a game changer. Um, I, I do it myself just because it gives a smoother effect to the skin girl. It makes the skin real pretty. Uh, I do like that little pajama outfit. I think that's adorable. I personally like a little bit more of a 
cover to the, to the I like a sleeve because I get chilly up top. So I wouldn't like to have spaghetti straps as I slept just because I get, that's where I really want to cover up is on my upper area. Uh, I love the pattern though. I like that rose. That's cute. That's a cute little pajama outfit. Girl, I'm single too. It's okay. You've said it a couple of times now. So I'm guessing she's young and she's looking for a relationship. I don't know what her dating history is. Thought I saw like a little something, something on her neck there, but maybe that was just a rash or something. But uh, I have a suspicion for something else. But uh, you know, that's okay. I've been single for a couple of years. It's okay. And I do believe, you know, doing things that are self-love, that are fun to do for yourself, if you find you are not dating somebody and the holiday is just hard for you to uh, not avoid all the ads for jewelry and chocolates, and, you know, flowers, you, what name it. So my always my thing that I you know, do, I do other, th I also, I don't try to get to my t friends to do dinner, because all my friends are dating and stuff, so that's, or married, <laughs> so that's not going to happen, but I have done a couple of really nice things for myself, like, today, you know, the reason why I have no eye makeup on is I had a little bit of Botox around my eyes today, just to give them a little lift, uh, it wasn't much, but, um, so I had that done because I happened to have a follow-up with my plastic surgeon. Sorry, I hit the camera 15 times there. So I did happen to, uh, that's why I have no makeup because I don't want to put any makeup where I actually ha was injected around today. Just, you know, just to be on the safe side until it's, you know, just to give it a day. And uh, I have a hair appointment booked uh, for February the 10th, next Saturday, or this coming Saturday, yeah, the following Saturday. So I'm going to have my hair all fixed up. So I have got a couple of things that I've planned, and I had a brand new pair of nice glasses to pick up tomorrow. I cannot wait. They're super cool. They're like transparent, but a little bit pink. I'm excited. You'll see them. Hopefully they have no reflection. Let's get back to Anna, though, instead of me. Nobody's here for me. The whole thing, same. <laughs> okay, I know it's obvious, but <laughs> I think we should call this one a Sleeping Beauty. Yeah, I like that. Because, come on. Cute. The slippers won't last. And it looks so cute when I sleep. Our next look is really casual and great for okay. just bopping around. Okay. So I've paired my favorite good American always fits jeans. Yeah. Literally lifesavers if you've got lip edema because the thighs oh. stretch out and you just buy the size that works for your waist. Okay. So somebody asked me if I thought she had lymphedema. And I said to the person in my comments that, I didn't know enough information just to make an assessment that she had lymphedema based on looking at somebody. Because that would be, you you need a lot more information other than just staring at somebody. But she has just mentioned that she does have lymphedema. And I do know it is treated in a vascular center and that you do need to have every day depending or you know depending on the severity of your lymphedema it could mean that you have to get into this like special lymphedema massager that's recommended often and it kind of works that lymphatic system and helps with that you know fluid in the lymph system because that's basically what lymphedema means it is uh, fluid, because that's edema, swelling in the lymph, the lymphatic system, which is like all of your, like, when you're feeling, you know, swelling and all of your immune system is fighting, that's going to be in those nodes that's part of the lymphatic system. And obviously there's fluids. So it seems that's what's happening with her. And, uh, you know, not to talk about it a little, you know, we can talk about it a little bit further, but we do know now, so I can confirm that. Anyway, let's continue. So that's interesting for me as the nurse now. She does have lymphedema. Maybe that's the reason for the weight gain. That's pretty 
that's a that's a tough thing to I paired it with a pair of Chelsea boots, which yeah. aren't honestly timeless. People say they go in and out of style, but people wear Chelsea boots all the time. Now for the top, I took a long sleeve red t-shirt, something that you may already have in your closet, and wore it underneath I one of my Chelsea favorite boots. graphic tees I've seen around the Valentine's Day season because I feel like it will endure well past Valentine's. And honestly, I'm always in my feelings. <laughs> now to zhuzh it up a little bit more, I added this black chain link necklace and that's going to mirror the dark color of the boots and also a dark black beret with a little bit of chain detail again speaking to the necklace and then to the shoes i also did add a ring to this because i just love rings in general right now i'm kind of obsessed this one is a little flame ring that i actually bought for a cosplay look but i felt kind of worked with the vibe of this look so it just fit Last, but again, definitely not least, I have this really cool phone bag. And what's special about this bag is you can actually plug your cell phone in and use the top of the bag to talk to someone, which I just think is the coolest. I'm not sure how old she is. That outfit a little much for me. You, there's a lot that's going on. This is a lot. <laughs> there's the beret and the necklace and the you know the chains and the t-shirt with you know the little oh the little angel oh gosh is that I can't remember the artist for that angel drop it down below I know it's a famous like I believe in Italian oh god I, I feel stupid but I know that cherub is famous it's like Michelangelo or somebody like that okay so I don't sound like a total fool <laughs> anyway and then it says currently in my feelings and then looks like she's got like a chain here like going oh that's for the bag and the bag's got like a phone I just feel that's a little busy I think that's what I'm trying to say that's a little busy for me slash quirkiest thing ever. And if you know about my mantra for this year, it's to buy more ridiculous things. And this is definitely really? a ridiculous purchase that is honestly right. going to be a fun conversation piece at the next party I go to. I am calling this look in my feelings because, well, it's a show on the shirt. <laughs> what is life without a little drama? And this is definitely an outfit you can... I mean, because so, cause she was definitely in her feelings yesterday when she was... You know, as we know, about to cry at the end of that movie hall. Where to an event? I don't. I, don't, I still don't think that's the way to go. I don't think the quirky say, is the way. I to am go. the drama. The drama is me. Hello. <laughs> so we've got some pink pleated now, pants is, that are very, very cute. wide leg, and I love them. This I think now I paired cute. them with this blouse that's been in my closet since December, which I'm obsessed with as well. It has these faux feather cuffs. It's from J Crew. And honestly, I feel it is Can the most take the chic white off? blouse I've ever owned in my entire life. So I try to wear it as often as I can. Now, because the pants and the like blouse, when you just wear them alone, it just feels like there's not a cohesion there. I added the black belt to kind of just make that transition from shirt to pants a little bit more seamless. And since I have now black in the belt, I chose some black and rhinestone shoes and a black clutch. And of course, came in strong with the earrings by adding these rhinestone dangly earrings. And these are my favorite rhinestone earrings I've ever seen. I feel like usually when you see a rhinestone earring, it's like dangly. And these just have such a great shape to them. And yeah. also, they move so beautifully. So they're, they're one of my favorites. Last but not least, we added a little ring. This ring is kind of cool because it's not pink. But it's also something that I've had yeah, forever. Same. I don't even know where I got this ring from, guys. But I love the bright turquoise stone. I like that it's not pink. I like that it's a See, okay, I like the pants. I like the, the white shirt with the belt with the pants. I'm not, I'm just not a fan of ostrich feather. All, just that whole thing. Um, it It's very 20s flapper. I have a... 20s a costume for a 20s flapper that has like fake ostrich feathers at the bottom. It's a pain. I can't imagine trying to keep that clean or how you wash that shirt. That's the only thing I see. So I feel that 
the shape, the design, everything I do think is very classic about the shirt. I, I don't like the ostrich feather. I can imagine being out having a meal having white ostrich feather. I'm just kidding. You know, it's very impractical in my mind. And, you know, I would, you know, I just, no, no, not the, the ostrich feather is a hard pass no for me. On the cuff, but, you know, the cuff, I, I it's been popular. I, I, anyway, I've labeled that point. The blue, I don't know if that would be the color that I would want to use to, to strike out against the pink. I may have chosen, you know, with it supposed to be Valentine's, maybe red. Because red and pink are, are, are a nice combo. Little funky, because this woman's an artist. This woman is the drama, and the drama is unpredictable. And I feel like this ring is a little unpredictable, but overall works. Oh, the earrings again, I really like. Playing off those silver hues that are in the rest of the look. So overall, I'm kind of obsessed with how this one turned out. Y'all know I love a good pun. So of course, I'm going to call this look feeling plucky. <laughs> Get it? Because the feathers. So that is our Valentine's Day lookbook. Overall, this was an entirely new creative process for me. We really tried to create something different and create a true lookbook. Mm. A lot of times I'm showing you guys outfits, but they're from the same brand and I'm not given as much liberty to like style. And I wanted to I just let myself play in were. the clothing, both clothing okay. I had and a couple new pieces that I got. And I feel like I've created something I really love, and I hope you love it too. So please let me know in the comments if you like this style, if you enjoy it, and if you want to see more. And specifically, if there's something you're looking to learn about when it comes to styling, or if there's a certain aesthetic that you'd like to see more plus size looks in. I am all ears and ready to create, because honestly, I'm just feeling so creative right now. And I want to share that as much as I can. So with that, guys, I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Links to everything are down below, as always. I'll check you later. And as I say all the time, it's never going to be different. It's always the same. And it is. Peace. See you later. Okay. I, I, didn't, I, I was, like, hesitating to stop her there. I wanted to get her in a cute look. I don't know about those. <laughs> Like I said, I know nothing about what the kids are wearing nowadays. I actually spent some time in the mall today uh, and I had to exchange something at the Apple store and I bought a couple of things so I thought I'd share them right at the end. So I heard that the, so the, oh gosh, I, you would never think I actually expect so. So the Janeiro is a uh, really good, um, the Boom Boom Cream. And I got it obviously in the 62, which is the popular fragrance. And then I obviously got some of the fragrance spray to go with it. Uh, because I heard it's very popular. We could be good. Heard it's very popular. Gosh, that was a good catch. And then I went to Sephora to see if the kids are really taking over Sephora. I didn't see any 10-year-olds, but I saw, you know, a cute mother and daughter uh, thing. And uh, I got the... Uh, Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm uh, blush because if you're an older lady and you know, you know, the blushes can be really often very thick or dry and that is not what you want. You want a, a little bit creamier and this was super creamy and it gives a little bit of highlight. So I did put a little bit of that on my cheeks today. Um, filming so you may or may not see it so anyway that's what I got to do and so yeah let me know what you thought of Anna's looks I I don't know I thought they weren't really I like if you're gonna do a valentine look the one she actually has on is probably going to be the most appropriate the others I don't know I felt they were out of season for February that's just my opinion anyway I do now know she has lymphedema, so I'm going to look a little bit more into that. I do know you should not drink alcohol with lymphedema, or it's, uh, it's advised not to. So anyway, this is Ray. This is Life and Vibe. And if you like this type of content, hit the likes, hit the subscribes, uh, make comments down below. I'm sorry, I was, it's got a little late. I'm a little tired. It's been a long day.